What's up, guys? Average Kiwi guy here. How y'all doing? So BlizzCon's going at the moment, and we got a new WoW cinematic. You know, one of those like face capture cinematics. Um, they there was like a video like leading up to the um the 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 opening ceremonies of like how they did that and like the the actor and stuff like that. Um, no, it was not Brad Pitt. <laughs> <laughs> this is some young kid i said young guy um they just like showed like certain scenes that he did and all the rest of it it's pretty in-depth but something about those scenes like especially sylvanas it looks really weird but um lost honor so definitely going to be about seraphang and stuff like that so i'm very very keen to see what this is um especially if this has to do with 8.1 and all that so have a look three two Blizzard Entertainment. Ooh, Stormwind. The Boy King. That's the last of the soldiers. We'll be calling up farmers next. Damn. When this war began, I thought we were fighting for peace. This is all stuff we don't see when you're playing. But we're just fighting. You're doing all you can to stop her, your majesty. It's like, am I really? Again, does look cool. Like, imagine a movie like this. This would be amazing. Sarfang. Buddy. At Lord Aron, you had the chance to take my life. Maybe even end the war. Let face. Hmm. Where is Zeppy boy? Why didn't you kill me? Could do you know. I spared you because I believed you have honor. Was I wrong? Do you want more innocents to suffer? The Horde... I have given everything for the Horde! Blood for it. Kill for it. And Sylvanas is destroying it. She will destroy everything. What I want... ...is my Horde. Yes. <laughs> that is my war chief right there. Sarfang is the old Sarfang. I love the old Tell one. me why you spared my life. That's a big admission. It's like, I can't stop Sylvanas. Not alone. Does it mean... The Alliance is throwing everything. That was cool. That was very, very cool. Especially to see, you know, where everyone's standing. Sort of leading into this new thing. Alrighty, so d very, very interesting. Very, very interesting. I mean, like to to see the toll it's that the war is taking on 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 the on the alliance side, but obviously the horde side would be this probably the same too. Um, because when you're playing the game, you don't see that stuff. Not in BFA yet. Not not that I've ever really seen. Like, you do the war stuff and all the rest of it, but you're not seeing the war. Um, like, you do the, the war front stuff, but it's not it's not portraying what they're trying to portray here. Like, that's I think that's what's gotten a lot of people. It's like, 
you sold us on the fact that we were going to be at war with the alliance with the horde and we have these massive epic battles sort of things but it hasn't quite worked out that way um so it is interesting to see it here like the alliance has sent all of their soldiers that they can spare at the moment like they are literally enlist they're about to start enlisting farmers to their cause like they they are running out of warriors um so it, it is very interesting to see that and like for anduin he's like we are just trying to hold her off at the moment Why didn't she kill me? like because sylvanas is willing to do the things that many of the other characters can't like anduin would never go as far as what sylvanas would go Sarafang would never go as far as what Sylvanas can. Um, because she is that type of character. She is that type of character that quite easily could transfer over to becoming the main villain. Easily. You know, that that kind of Lich King-like character. Um, now, I have been hearing, like, from the PTR stuff and, like, data mine stuff and all the rest of it, that there could potentially become a choice of how you want on um, who you want to follow in a way like do you follow Sarafang or do you follow sylvanas which i do find interesting because it's like well how does that get rectified in the end um i don't know that for sure that's just like rumors and stuff that i've been hearing about um about 8.1 and all the rest of it but i hopefully they'll, they'll tell us that because the panel at, at, at the time of recording the panel has not happened yet um for uh the world of warcraft stuff so i am going to be watching that and i'm going to be doing a separate video on 8.1 so that'll be a thing um but i mean the cinematics man like i like stuff this live action crap that they tried to do with freaking uh warcraft like just make these damn make it just like this seriously like it's it's freaking fantastic like the facial cap stuff and all that they do a fantastic job just make sylvanas look right like that'd be fun um i mean i i'm sure they look into all this stuff blizzard but i mean hopefully i'd, lo I'd love to see that sort of thing um but yeah it was it is very interesting to see the toll that it is taking the toll that it is taking on 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 this on the alliance and i imagine the horde as well um and then also to see the state of mind of Seraphang. Um, as you may have picked up, I am very much on Seraph a Seraphang side. And I chose the Horde because of that honor, because of the the band of misfits and stuff like that. Like, I I like them a lot more than what I like the Alliance in a way. Um, it, that's kind of why I picked it. So the stuff that the Horde has, has been doing and sylvanas and sylvanas like because like and this is all pre-expansion stuff because it, during the expansion sylvanas is nowhere to be found to be honest with you i haven't seen her i think i've seen her like twice um it is yeah it, it's been like i'll it'd be interesting to see like when 8.1 does come out like the sylvanas side of this cinematic like what sylvanas has been doing while we have been in Zandalar, why you know that that's that's what i would like to know like what's been happening um while like the the the, the expansion's been happening like that that would be a very cool thing to see um but to see Sarafang like i've given everything for the horde like he has he's sacrificed all of his everything like he's you know his, his son in a way was sacrificed for the horde um that there was you know to, to see all that and then for him to say i spared you because i thought you were the only one who could stop her because you're the only one who has the men in the army and all the rest of it to go and do it and then for anduin to say i can't but i mean that could just be just to get him to, to get Sarafang in the game because he's like I can handle a horde with Sarafang at the helm, but I can't handle a horde with Sylvanas at the helm. Because at least with 
Sarah Fang, you know what to expect. The Sylvanas, you have no idea. You have no idea. So, yeah. It, it's, it is very interesting. I mean, it's not a long cinematic. It's not. It's not a long one, but it's it's got some big, big stuff in it. It's got some big stuff. So, I mean, it made me excited for 8.1. Made me excited for 8.1. So, I will uh, check out the panel that's coming up for that. I think it's, for me personally, it's like in about 20 minutes or so. So, I'll be uh, checking that out. Um, and then we'll, we'll, I'll do a video on like the stuff about 8.1 and like what they're, what's coming up, what they're expecting and all the rest of it. Um, um, but, yeah. BlizzCon, I'll be all over it, checking out all the animations, all the cinematics, all the new stuff, uh, basically to do with all of it, uh, I'll be checking it, checking it out, um, like I said, I'll be checking out the, the, the WoW panel, we're checking about, talking about 8.1 and potentially some 8.2 stuff, um, and then WoW Classic too, I uh, got my demo, uh, my hour demo thing, so I'll, I am very new to, uh, like, I came into WoW, like, just around Legion, so this would be someone who has never experienced vanilla WoW ever, going in and having a look, so something from a different perspective, I guess. Um, yeah. Alright, guys, that's it for us. Thank you very much for watching, I appreciate it. Uh, if you are new here, and you like what you saw, that subscribe button, I'd appreciate it. Um, yeah, like I said, be all over BlizzCon, many new things coming out on the channel, so stay tuned. Alright guys, catch you later. Peace. Bye.